You know the phrase, blink and you'll miss it? Take a look at this clip. That man gives good advice. But data acquisition devices don't work like our eyes do. They take snapshots at a rate that you specify. Sample fast enough and you'll be able to see the signal accurately, just like we did with that video, sampled at a cinematographic 24 frames a second. But sample at the wrong time and you might end up with a less wholesome message. In the DAC world, we deal with thousands of samples per second, thousands of individual pieces of data that help us understand the world. The phenomena we need to capture, small spikes in voltage, high frequency signals, the impact of certain things colliding, can appear and disappear in far less than the blink of an eye. If you sample too slow, you might miss something. You might accidentally incite a robbery, who knows? The speed of your DAC device is measured in samples per second, also known as your sample rate. Generally speaking, higher sample rates mean more expensive devices. This $150 USB 6000 samples at 10 kilo samples per second, 10,000 samples per second, while this $4,000 USB 6356 samples about 100 times faster at 1.25 mega samples per second. It would be nice to get the most expensive card every time, but in the real world, you're going to want a device that can meet your needs without exceeding your budget. So, how fast is fast enough? To understand that, let's talk about aliasing. Have you ever tried to film a helicopter? If your camera's shutter speed lines up with the rotating of the blades, you can get some weird effects including helicopters that seem like they're levitating, with the blades standing still. Check out the link to the video in the description. A lot of people have tried this stuff on YouTube. It's amazing. Now, the speed the camera is sampling at lines up nicely with the spinning helicopter blades, meaning that each successive image looks like the blades are in the same place, even though they're spinning rapidly. You are reading in correct data. Each image is true, but your shutter speed is showing you something misleading. Let's take that and transform it into the DAC world with an example. Now, this is a 10 hertz signal that we are looking to capture with our DAC card. What is the sufficient sample rate to get a good measurement? Intuitively, we might think, okay, let's start close to 10 hertz, maybe a little faster, let's say 11 hertz or 11 samples per second. If we did that, we would get a very misleading waveform. Neither the shape nor the frequency are correct, but it looks like a good waveform if you didn't know what the signal was supposed to be. So let's try sampling more than twice that fast, at 25 samples per second. That's a little better. The frequency of the measurement is correct, but the shape is all over the place. So let's bump that up to 100 samples per second, 10 times faster than the original signal. Here, finally, we have a mostly correct waveform. If you studied electrical engineering, you've heard about the Nyquist theorem, which dictates that you should sample at least two times faster than the signal you're looking to measure in order to accurately represent the frequency of the signal. But to get the shape, you need to be sampling five to 10 times faster than the original signal. The lesson here, know what you're trying to measure. More specifically, know the frequency of what you're trying to measure. And NI's advice? always sample at least 10 times faster than the signal you're looking to measure. Buying the slower card, savings right now, but it can cost you a lot more in missed data in the long run. There's one more pro tip that I need to share. Imagine a four lane highway that converges into a one lane bridge. All of these rows of cars need to take turns getting onto that lane. Well, a lot of DAC cards use a similar technology. It's called multiplexing, and it's a very cost-effective way to increase your channel counts. Each one of your channels passes through one ADC. But just like a highway, each piece of data needs to take turns getting sampled. When you use a multiplexing card with more than one channel, you're cutting your sampling speed down. 
by proportionally to the number of channels you're adding. So today's pro tip is to look for cards with simultaneous sampling. Simultaneously sampled data acquisition devices use one ADC per channel, four lane highway into a four lane bridge, allowing you to get the maximum sample rate of your device on each and every line. You can usually find these cards by looking at the sample rates on their data sheets. And there's an easy trick to this. Multiplexing cards typically have a samples per second value when it comes to showing off their sample rates, while simultaneous cards use samples per second per channel. And that's it for sampling rates. Please click around to check out more, check out the videos of the levitating helicopters, check out the NI shop for your next DAC device, and uh, feel free to sample some of our other videos. I'll show myself out.